Welcome to Poker Stories by MTT Poker School. Today, Jack Sinclair tells us the fascinating story of how Doug Polk still owes him a garden rake. Enjoy. Um, yeah, so th this is a story I've actually never uh, told publicly. Um, I'm not sure why, because it's, it's not like, it's not one of the lewd or embarrassing ones. Um, I guess it is slightly embarrassing. Um, this is the story of why uh, Doug Polk still owes me a, a garden rake. Um, this was the before the first time I went to Vegas. So I've never played live at this point. Um, and I moved to Malta to live with uh, Phil Gruesome, uh, who I just spoke to today, actually. So I, I would love to do a, a story with Phil involved, but uh, that's not going to be uh, probably acceptable for public consumption yet. Um, but shout out to Phil, um, big hero, obviously. Um, so I was living with him in, in Malta and, uh, this was, I, I actually had played one live event, um, but that's not relevant. So I was, it was like a Sunday, I think it was like 1am or so. Um, and Anton Morgenstern messaged me a link to a, uh, competition that Doug Polk was running. And it was like, make the best video explaining why rakes are better. And the prizes were a rake and like a year subscription to their training site and Joey Ingram's book. Um, and Anton was like, yeah, you for sure you win, you win this if you, if you enter it, because I'd done some, this was back when I was, uh, I was trying to make like YouTube videos and stuff. Uh, you know, I was like grinding $20 MTTs online and stuff and um, had no real clue what I was doing, but I was trying to make, make content, you know, it was, it was a good, good way to learn actually. Um, but, uh, I, I had done some, some, um, quite entertaining, um, like thug life meme videos of, uh, when I was playing online, like owning people in the Sunday million, and I would, uh, do like a, 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 a hand and then it would just like freeze frame and like the sunglasses and joint would come into my mouth. And, um, that <laughs> was, that was like my favorite thing to, to send to Anton. So he saw this, this, I, this, uh, competition for like a video, basically video editing competition. Um, and he's like, yeah, guaranteed you, you get it. Cause it was t 10 winners possible. And it, you know, I mean, these kind of competitions, I imagine they get 20 entries or so of which, you know, maybe 10, are, are, are like even a coherent video. Um, so this was the, the deadline was the following day. Uh, on like American time zone or something. So it was after Sunday grind and I stayed up f until like for like three hours or something, just chopping together random clips of, of Dean eggs um, and uh, Luke Schwartz and all the memes I could think of from, from that whole beef. This was like right in the middle of it, in the middle of uh, Doug's uh, rise to, to his YouTube stardom and, um, and you know, right in the middle of the battle about uh, the more rake is better thing. Um, so, you know, I, I very cynically put, put all this stuff together. I mean, I really couldn't have, couldn't care less about the actual feud or, or anything. I wasn't like the, the biggest Doug Polk fan or anything, but, uh, you know, the, the, the year of free content seemed appealing at the time. Um, so, so yeah, it was like, and I've, I've looked it up. I can't actually find the, the video. Um, but I, I'll see if I can find it for you. Um, Gareth it's, it is, it was quite a masterpiece to be comp together in uh in like three hours it was you know there was just all these clips of them and then there was like a rake flying across the screen for like a, 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 a fade and stuff dan bilzerian was in there at one point and the whole thing was set to a skrillex song um and when the winners were announced i i got an email from him saying yo uh, give me the address because you know where to send your rake and i was like yeah it's in malta can you ship it he was like, mm, probably, <laughs> and then, and then I finally saw the video on YouTube, and I was like the the I was number ten of ten, I think, in terms of uh, quality, and the the song had to be replaced, like the the music was copyrighted, obviously, so it got um, it they just replaced it, and the whole thing had like really nice edits that fit with the music, like it was like chopping up and and all this sort of stuff, and. And, uh, and yeah, and with this new track, there was just some, some, um, you know, royalty free random EDM thing. Um, just, it just didn't work at all. And it was just like some, some funny edits that didn't match the music. And it was just like, 
you know, what is this? Someone just chopped together a bunch of memes and that's it. Um, so yeah, I got the thing, I got the, I got all the prizes and then went to Vegas, um, you know, two months, three months later or something, I think it was with Anton. Um, and I, I didn't know anyone there apart from Anton. And, uh, there was some night where I decided I was going to go to the upswing party. They, they did like an upswing members party and I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll go. And, uh, and I <laughs> have a picture with Doug Pope from the party. And I said to him like, yo, you still owe me a rake. And he's like, oh, right, yeah, yeah, we'll sort that out. No, you know, oh, that's so funny, that, all this stuff. Anyway, there actually, as a side note, I also went out with Anton on a different night. Uh, in, after I played day one of the main event, I went out to uh, one of the clubs in Vegas XS with Anton. There was tons of poker players there. And Joey Ingram was there. And I'd never met him before. And I'm like, yo, Joey, you owe me a book <laughs> because his book was in the prize. And I didn't get that either. And he was like, what? What are you talking about? And I explained it. And he's like, oh, that's fine. And we ended up spending the whole night with uh, Joe Ingram and stuff. And Anton and them were, um, they, they stayed out later than I did. Um, anyway, after that, I played the rest of the main. And this was when I made final table. And I got to the final, like I made final table of the main event. And I get an uh, Instagram message from Doug Pope saying like, Hey, uh, do you want coaching for the final table? Like, um, like, you know, I would like to offer it for like, you know, it's like a standard thing. Tons of people message you when you make final table of the main, um, just trying to get in on the, trying to get in on the action for a little coaching, you know, like, um, uh, but I, I had mine already sorted. I had, uh, Phil, uh, got Igor to, to, to manage my, uh, my coaching for the two days off I had before the final table. Um, so, but I discussed some stuff with Doug and mercifully he, he, uh, I, I don't think he remembered me because I said, uh, I said, I still want that rake by the way. And he's like, huh? I'm like, you owe me a rake. I'm the guy from the thing. And he's like, oh, I remember that. I don't think he remembered it. And cause I mean, he was pretty trashed at the, at the party. So yeah. And then, um, I made, so I played the final table as you do. And to this day, no rake. I have no rake and no book. And I've watched one video from the Upswing library. So I hope you enjoyed that video from Jack Sinclair. This was Poker Stories by MTT Poker School. If you want to, you can subscribe to the channel right here. And you can also watch another video right here. I'll be back soon with a brand new video. But until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.